So in yesterday's video, I talked about how do you sharpen your answers going into a job interview. And today, I'm, I'll, I'll uh, briefly touch upon a, on a quick reference that I made yesterday, uh, that of risk, that employers uh, look at you as basically a risk in a job interview. And uh, basically, I'll, I'll talk about five aspects you want to keep in mind when uh, earning your employer's trust, which I believe it's, uh, it's essential. It's basically the main predictor of success in a job interview, how you, if, whether you can win them over or not. Uh, so the, the first topic here would be the risk itself. And you must understand this is a company policy that I'm talking here. In other words, the best employers today look at this uh, hiring process as a, as, a, as a risk assessment. So basically, the more people they engage into the process, the less the risk they make a bad hire. Right now, uh, they cannot uh, engage, let's say, 15 people in the hiring process because simply because it would be too expensive for them and maybe too time consuming as well. So they are a for profit business at the end of the day. But uh, you must understand the overall context. The policy here is that they want to minimize risk. Now, it's uh, I believe it's outside the um, the subject of this video to make you to help you to brainstorm. How do you minimize your risk? And how do you win them over? But I believe this is a very strategic element that you want to keep in mind. The second thing I wanted to uh, talk about here is uh, how you prepare for a job interview within the context of earning your employer's trust. Um, in my opinion, the, so the, the point I'm trying to make here is that um, you want to avoid an incremental to a two incremental approach in preparing for a job interview that is for example you have two weeks to prepare for that interview to spend one week on the theory and one week on the practice a better approach would be to spend two days on the theory and then one day on the practice and then again one day on the theory and maybe three days on the practice later on basically the the, the quicker you assess the quicker you the quicker you perform this assessment of uh, your performance um, the better the chances that your performance will significantly improve and you'll prepare on what actually matters for uh, for that job interview. So the second point here is um, avoid a too incremental approach, but rather try to loop and try to go as fast, as quickly as, uh, as possible. If you remember, or if you're into project management, you'll probably know about the uh, waterfall versus the agile approach so the agile approach is uh, basically you know what what actually makes sense most sense in this case as well the third point i want to talk about here when you where you want to look at when trying to earn your employer's trust is the rapport building the rapport building phase is you know those first couple of minutes of the interview when uh, the, the first impression is formed or in some cases, even even prior to that, if you have communication via email with uh, their contacts or if you have any other introductory calls with them. But the rapport building is uh, very, very important as well. And it's often overlooked by many candidates going to a job interview. And uh, the rapport building can be also uh, prior to the interview, in the first moments of the interview, but also at the end of the interview when you, you know, you have those... Uh, questions for them and uh, when you I'm, I'm assuming you you'll know by now that I always recommend th sending thank you notes to those interviewers right so the rapport building is something you want to keep in mind as well that is something that uh, can actually uh, get you the job basically or at least the job offer in many cases uh, number four here during the actual interview Okay, you prepare for the interview, you do your best during the performance, but unless you listen carefully to what they're actually asking you, uh, you you are basically uh, it's a you must avoid it's a one way street, right? You must ensure that you really understand what they're actually asking you, and uh, keep in mind this the following expression: listen to learn, not to respond. So develop your listening skills and this is again a very efficient way to earn their trust within a job interview and uh, last but not least i found that uh, especially for roles that uh, for high paying jobs and for special jobs for dream jobs <laughs> in other words uh, it it does pay off in many cases to dare to be different to go that extra mile and to take a little bit more risk with your performance and to literally put together a great show and to 
go above and beyond to 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 achieve this um definitely a good idea you know to try it out first to role play with someone first but uh, yes i do believe this is also something that makes sense to push the limits and i found always the best candidates somewhat push the limits um not for the first time during the actual job interview but for the first time in the preparation process they were also always exploring new ways to to achieve you know that uh, that great show that you you want to achieve during the job interview so this would be the five elements that i want to talk about here when it comes to you know to earning your employer's trust and uh w basically winning them over uh for uh, that uh, for that job of uh, for that job offer that you're after